millennia ago, creatures from the deep have traveled their way up the sewer lines, coming ever closer into the land of men. Now we have found them below the cities of men. Below in the sewers, we have found creatures of unimaginable horror. Come with us on a journey into the sewers of our greater cities to find these creatures and discover what lurks below. Good day and welcome to the December Patreon, live on location on my holiday. Yes, I'm a workaholic, I can't get away from it. Anyway, we are going to paint up below the December Patreon piece created by Ian Lovecraft. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Uh, if you do, make sure that you hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and you'll never miss another video from TAC. If you'd like to leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are about below, or what you are doing for your festive season holidays. I'd love to hear what you are doing, because I think after this year, we all need that holiday. Tell me what you're doing, I'd love to hear. Sit back, enjoy the video, and I will see you briefly at the end. Cheers, guys. Starting with a mid-grey base, I am painting this over the entire model. The grey is just a combination of black and white craft paint. Any white or black will do. Now using any burnt umber you can get your hands on, this one from Reeves, I'm selecting random bricks within the stonework to give contrast colors and just accent colors throughout that stonework. This is also the color that I'll be using for all of the woodwork through the upper level, the, the ground floor level of this piece. Just a reminder, you can get this piece over on Patreon at patreon.com slash techadaptcrafts and it's available for December. Also remember that the proceeds from the TAC Patreon do go to help support the Anala Foundation, which is a wonderful organization that supports people with disabilities. Next up, this lovely copper color from Jay Burroughs line. Uh, I'm using this to do the copper pipes and the entrance to the sewers, and the manhole cover that goes over there. For the next accent color for those bricks, I'm using a raw sienna, and again, it can be from any company. This one is from Liquitex, and it's a wonderful, wonderful color to use. I also use it to dry brush the wood in just a moment. Tried adding a different contrast color here with the uh, with the contrast paint ultramarine blue. Really didn't like how it turned out, so I've ended up going over it with a different color, which is this Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. It's a really nice shade there. For the lamp posts, I'm using a game color, gun metal. This goes over all of the metallic components of the lamps, including the bolts. The 
I'm also using it for the rims around the barrels. Next step is a light grey for all of the tops of the fence wall and for the trim lines around the fence wall and for the guttering of that paving. For the below level, I use it on the background stonework above the bricks and for components of the stairwell. Once that's dry, I give it a wash of this brown wash. The recipe is over on a black magic craft and this goes over all of that stonework to help tie the pieces together and over the wooden parts, the metallic parts, everything gets this brown wash. Over the past couple of weeks, I've really fallen in love with contrast paints. Here I'm going to use Magos Purple and Warp Lightning as my two main colors to paint the tentacles. Now I put the purple in where the, the, the suckers on the tentacles are and I water it down on the edge of where I'm painting and then I do the same with the green, that Warp Lightning. I put that over the, the meaty part of the tentacle and then I use the water to blend the two together. As I put the water on, you can also wipe it off and that will help to blend them and make it a little bit lighter in that, um, in that join. I then use the Pterodon Turquoise and the Orc Flesh just to add some slightly darker elements to components of those tentacles. To darken that lower level of the sewer, I'm now using the black wash from Black Magic Craft to go over that lower section. The light grey is now being dry brushed over the wooden components of the piece. This gives a weathering sort of effect to the wood. Continuing with that Magos Purple, I've now watered it down and I'm using it to add shadow to the lower level of this diorama. Probably could have done this when I did the wood, but now just dry brushing that light grey over all the stonework as well. Now, as I've said, this model is available over on Patreon, and if you are a member of the Hobby Goodness, you have access to this piece. I'd like to thank everybody at the Hobby Goodness. Their support over the past few months has been fantastic, and what I can contribute to Anala is fantastic. However, I'd like to pay particular attention to the people on the Full Tackle. These guys go above and beyond, and we get together for live streams every month, and it's a, it's a really good little community that is building there, and I thank them very much. These people are Andreas Rocco, David Bennett, David Scaberas, Ian and Haig O'Connell, Jean Maguire, Joel Cunningham, Judy Hayes, Kent Rutherford, Christina B, Lopiana, Mousetrap Creations, Night Lurker, Riri, Sean McKinley, Thomas Hernandez and Toggers. Happy birthday, Toggers, for yesterday. Now using watered down orc flesh contrast paint, I am putting this over all of the floor of the sewer system and just lapping it over the edges of the paving stones and up the edge of the wall. Why am I painting it then putting this over? Well, I want it to show through. I want the original paving stone colors to show through. Now a white dry brush over the light grey stonework of the wall. Very nearly done, so I'm gluing down the barrels. Uh, that's the first part. This is just using a super glue. And the next part is the tentacles and trying to arrange them into a really interesting pose where the flat portions where it printed against the bed are cut off on the side of the diorama to make it look like this creature is breaking through from the other side. This is a new product I got from Army Painter. It's meadow flowers, and I thought they looked really cool. I thought having some flowers growing out of the paving stones would be a really interesting addition to the piece. Now that those tentacles are dry in place, I'm using just a black to 
paint the edges of those tentacles just to cap them off and that's the piece done. Ladies and gents, if you enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment on the bottom and let me know what you thought about below. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year, and I hope that you are all safe and well during this holiday season. Also, there will be a link in the description for Ian Lovecraft's new campaign that is coming up, which will launch sometime in the new year. And that's part of the reason for our choice of location here. I am at port trying to find the lost ships that are out there somewhere. The pirates that are on their way inbound to our fair lands. Click on the link, make sure you get notified if you are interested in getting those STLs when they become available. And uh, join us for the campaign. There's always the League of Backers and we'd love to have you join us for that. I'll see you in the new year. Cheers guys.